The two cars survived virtually unscathed, caught on camera. Again, the girl's fine. Miracles come in all shapes and sizes, often in ways we least expect. They can be as simple as everyday blessings or as grand as biblical wonders. In this video, we're showcasing 15 astonishing events caught on camera that prove miracles are very much a part of our world today. From narrow escapes and car accidents to statues shedding tears, these real-life miracles will reignite your belief in the extraordinary. Join us as we unveil these captivating moments of wonder caught on camera for the world to see. Number 15. Tears of Our Lady of Akita In Akita, Japan, there's a chapel belonging to the Institute of the Handmaids of the Holy Eucharist. Inside the chapel, there's a wooden statue of the Virgin Mary, also known as Our Lady of Akita. This isn't just any ordinary statue, though. It has been said to have wept tears, blood, and even sweat between 1973 and 1981. It also reportedly emitted a sweet-smelling oil and voiced messages to a nun named Sister Agnes Katsuko Sasagawa. Many Catholics believe that these miraculous signs are an indication of Mary's compassion for humanity and her presence among us. The first incident that was reported involved the statue weeping. This was back on January 4, 1975. Sister Agnes saw blood on the statue's right hand. The blood was later tested and found to be human, specifically type B, but that's not all. The statue started to sweat from the forehead and neck, and the sweat, too, was tested and found to be human. But the story doesn't end there. On June 28, 1975, Sister Agnes claimed to have heard a voice emanating from the statue. The voice identified itself as the one who is with you in the most holy sacrament, urging her to pray for sinners and peace in the world. Sister Agnes was told that she had received stigmata, wounds similar to those of Jesus Christ on her left hand, as a symbol of her sharing in the suffering of Christ. Perhaps the most astonishing part of the story is that the statue is believed to have shed tears on a total of 101 occasions from June 4, 1975 to September 15, 1981. These events were witnessed by more than 500 people, including Bishop John Shojiro Ito of Niigata and Keiji Kobayashi, the Buddhist mayor of Akita. When the tears were tested, they were also found to be human, specifically type AB. Interestingly, some people claim to have experienced healing miracles, such as restored sight, hearing, or mobility after coming into contact with the statue's tears or oil. The Catholic Church, after conducting a thorough investigation, concluded that the events surrounding the Akita statue are worthy of belief. Bishop Ito stated in 1984 that the events of Akita are of supernatural origin and authorized the veneration of Our Lady of Akita. Today, the statue remains in the chapel in Akita, where people from around the world come to pray and seek the intercession of Mary. Number 14, Boy Captures an Angel. Carrie Lyles, a mother of seven children, is a professional photographer living in Texas. Her family is unique, consisting of five children she gave birth to and two stepchildren. Her youngest child, Asher, is seven years old and he has Down syndrome. Despite his challenges, Asher has an extraordinary love for photography, often borrowing his mom's phone to capture the world from his perspective. One day, as they were flying back home from a trip to Washington, Asher began to take pictures out the airplane window. It wasn't until later, when Carrie was sorting through the photos, intending to delete some to make room on her phone, that she stumbled upon something remarkable. One particular photo showcased a bright figure resembling a human face accompanied by wings. Carrie was astounded, and she interpreted this unusual image as a divine sign. So moved by this image, Carrie decided to share the picture on her Facebook page. She penned a heartfelt message alongside the picture that Asher had always shown an uncanny sensitivity towards others' needs. She believed that he could see the angels around him. Carrie also spoke about her conviction that Asher had managed to photograph his guardian angel from the plane window that day. She felt this angelic presence was there to provide him comfort during a particularly turbulent takeoff. Asher, she mentioned, has always been a source of immense joy and blessing for the family. His unique name, spelled with an extra A, symbolizes his A-awesomeness and represents the extra chromosome he was born with. The story quickly grabbed the attention of various media outlets, including Cron, YouTube, and KSDK News. They interviewed Carrie and Asher, sharing their story and the mysterious photo with viewers worldwide. Carrie expressed her wish that this unique image would bring a sense of hope and tranquility to those facing difficult times. Number 13. Ghost of a Boy Comforts Mother 
Our next miracle revolves around a mother from the Philippines, Joy Ganda Vibar Alamares, who experienced the heartbreaking loss of her seven-year-old son Trebe in 2023. What unfolded at his wake, captured in a video, truly touched people worldwide. The video starts by showing a tranquil scene in a chapel located in Legazpi City, Albay. A white coffin is beautifully adorned with flowers and white balloons, and there's a touching portrait of the young boy, Trebe, placed near it. Among the quiet, respectful mourners, one white balloon suddenly begins its unexpected journey. It slowly starts drifting towards the chapel pews, leaving the coffin behind. One of Trebe's siblings notices the balloon's odd movement and calls their mother's attention to it. As Miss Vibar Alamares, still in the throes of her grief, notices the balloon, it gently floats into her hand and nudges her head. It then attempts to float away, but something incredible happens. The balloon's direction abruptly shifts as the grieving mother's sobs grow louder. It moves behind her, bumping into her as if offering comfort. Miss Vibar Alamares then starts to communicate with the balloon, embracing it as it hovers before her face. After a few moments, she lets go of the balloon, but it remains close to her, seeming to share her grief. It's only after she places the balloon string on the seat next to her that it finally floats away. The family felt that the balloon's movement wasn't just a random occurrence. They believed it was the spirit of Trebe, guiding the balloon and comforting his mourning family. In a second video posted by Trebe's sister, KP Vibar Alamares, other balloons are seen drifting towards his three brothers. Trebe, whom his mother lovingly called Little Warrior, seemed to be offering solace to his brothers as well. This poignant event, captured in these videos, deeply touched many hearts and brought a sense of hope and solace to a grieving family. Number 12. Baby got hit by two cars and survived. Moving on to a two-year-old girl named Xiao Ai. One day, Zhao Ai was playing by the roadside with her grandmother. Suddenly, the unthinkable happened. She darted into the street and was hit by not just one, but two cars. The horrifying moment was captured by a surveillance camera. The video shows the little girl being run over by both the front and back wheels of the two vehicles. It's a sight that makes your heart stop, and you might assume the worst. But here's where the story takes an amazing turn. Despite the terrible incident, Xiao Ai survived with only minor bruises and no serious injuries. She was quickly scooped up by her grandmother, who immediately rushed her to the hospital. The doctors treated her and, to everyone's astonishment, she was released the very next day. They expressed their astonishment, saying it was nothing short of a miracle that she didn't have any internal bleeding or organ damage. The police investigation found that the drivers of the two cars hadn't seen Xiao Ai because she was in their blind spots, and the cars were following each other too closely. They also speculated that her small size and light weight may have helped her survive the impact. The drivers weren't charged with any crime, but they were fined for violating traffic rules. Xiao Ai's father expressed that she was a little shaken by the incident, but was recovering well. He vowed to be more vigilant with his daughter's safety in the future and hoped that other parents would learn from his experience. Number 11. Guardian Angel There's a story that perfectly encapsulates the old saying, Guardian Angels Watch Over Children. It happened about a decade ago on a snowy road in Russia, and it's a real heart-stopper. A family was driving along in their car, which suddenly began to slip and slide out of control on the icy road. The car careened directly into the path of oncoming traffic. And here's the scary part. A full-sized truck was barreling down right towards them. Everyone watching this unfold can't help but feel a wave of panic. The car somehow swerved just enough to avoid a head-on collision with the truck, likely saving the lives of everyone inside. However, as it spun, the back of the car took a devastating hit from the truck. In the chaos, a baby girl of only one year old was thrown out onto the snowy road. Just when you think the worst has been averted, a new fear sets in. Another full-sized truck was fast approaching, and the little girl lay directly in its path. Here's where the miracle happens. At the last possible moment, the oncoming truck swerves to avoid the little girl, missing her by mere inches. It's a breathtaking moment of relief. Moments later, a thankful and relieved mother rushes out to scoop up her child from the road. Number 10. Man walks away from a collision. 
A 53-year-old gentleman by the name of Simon Smith was minding his business, taking a stroll down Gun Street in Reading. It's a day like any other until, out of nowhere, a purple double-decker bus comes careening around the corner. With no time to react, Simon gets hit from behind by this bus, and we're not talking about a minor hit. The force of the collision was so extreme that it propelled Simon several meters down the pavement. The impact was so tremendous that the bus veered off course and crashed into a building nearby. Now here's the truly extraordinary part. After being hit by a bus, an incident that could very easily have been fatal, Simon does something completely unexpected. He doesn't lay there waiting for help. No, he actually gets up on his feet and casually strolls into the Purple Turtle, a nearby pub. It's a sight that left everyone watching absolutely dumbfounded. The co-owner of the Purple Turtle, a man named Daniel Freifeld, described the astonishing scene. Simon dusted himself off after being hit by a bus, waiting calmly for an ambulance to arrive. Though he was battered with scrapes and bruises all over, he had not sustained any major injuries. Simon's brush with death, captured on video and shared with the world, left people marveling at his resilience. It's also a sobering reminder of the importance of road safety for everyone, pedestrians and drivers alike. Number 9. Miracle on Ice Next up is something that is a stark reminder of just how important road safety is. This event takes place on an icy highway in Illinois. So picture this. Two state troopers and a woman who had been in an accident earlier are standing on the shoulder of the Interstate 64. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a box truck loses control. Dash cam footage shows this truck skidding and sliding, coming dangerously close to the troopers and the woman. It's a heart-stopping moment as the truck misses them by mere inches, eventually crashing into a patrol car and a tow truck that were parked just behind them. Now the video also shows these folks trying to scramble away from the skidding truck. You'd be relieved to know that no one was injured. The Illinois State Police referred to this incident as a miracle on ice, but the story doesn't stop there. A similar occurrence was reported in Wyoming. Picture another icy highway scene with a state trooper aiding a motorist who's stranded on the side of the road. Out of the blue, a speeding semi-truck nearly crashes into the trooper. The trooper has to jump away to avoid being hit, while the semi-truck ends up crashing into the patrol car and the stranded vehicle, causing both to spin out of control. Miraculously, the trooper wasn't hurt, although the driver of the stranded vehicle had minor injuries. Both these incidents serve as a stark reminder of the dangers lurking on icy roads, not just for drivers, but also for emergency responders. Number 8. Man survives without food for 70 years. Moving on to an 82-year-old Indian yogi named Pralad Jani who makes a claim that for 70 long years, he hasn't had a morsel of food or a sip of water. We know it sounds unbelievable, right? Well, the Indian military doctors were as curious as you are right now. They decided to see if there's any truth to Jani's claim. For two weeks, they kept him in a hospital, observing him around the clock. And you won't believe what they found. During his stay, he didn't consume any food or water. Even more astounding, he didn't show any signs of illness. To give you a bit of perspective, a person can generally survive five or six days without water under normal conditions. Maybe a day or two more if the circumstances are extreme. But no water for 70 years? It's almost beyond comprehension. You may remember a few instances where people have gone long periods without food, like during Gandhi's and Bobby Sands hunger strikes. But no water? That's a different story altogether. Even if by some miracle Janny could survive without food, the absence of water would typically lead to organ failure and ultimately death. Now, some might say that Janny's limited interaction with water, such as gargling or bathing, might be sufficient to keep him alive. But here's the catch Dr. Van Royen from Harvard says that's not possible. Given the amount of water the human body loses daily, such minimal contact with water just wouldn't cut it. So, if Janny's story is indeed true, it would indeed need something of a miracle for his survival. Number 7. Mysterious Voice Saves a Baby Let us tell you an incredible story about an event that left a lasting impact on four police officers from Utah. So the officers got a call about a car that had flipped over and was submerged in an icy river. They quickly rushed to the scene to help out. When they arrived, they heard something totally unexpected. All four officers distinctly heard a woman's voice crying out for help from inside the overturned car. Working together, they managed to flip the car over, but what they found was heartbreaking. 
Inside the car, they found a 25-year-old woman, lifeless, in the front seat. And in the back, her 18-month-old daughter, Lily Grosbeck, was unconscious in her car seat. Now, the thing that really stumped them was the fact that little Lily couldn't possibly have been the one calling out for help. One of the first responders on the scene, Officer Jared Warner from the Spanish Fork Police Department, vividly recalls the voice they all heard a voice pleading for assistance that they couldn't explain. What's more astonishing about this incident is the miraculous survival of the little girl. Lily Grosbeck spent almost 14 hours hanging upside down in her car seat. She endured freezing temperatures and had no food or water during that time. As for what caused the crash, that remains a mystery too. Investigators could find no skid marks on the road, and there was no sign of any mechanical issues with the car that might have led to the accident. So, the cause of the crash is just as unexplainable as the voice the officers heard. Number 6. Child Survives in Flood This tale revolves around a two-year-old boy who found himself standing amidst a ferocious current of water. Now, it's pretty common knowledge that currents as swift and potent as the one the child was in can easily sweep away anything, let alone a small child. But in this case, something extraordinary happened. This tiny tot stood his ground in the water, completely unaffected by the roaring current around him. He seemed entirely oblivious to the tremendous danger he was in, something that can only be attributed to his innocent age. This bizarre sight shocked the villagers who watched this precarious situation unfold. They were taken aback to see this small child hold his own against such a potent force of nature. The calm demeanor of the boy in the face of such adversity finally roused the villagers from their state of shock. They began devising a plan to rescue the child. However, this was not as simple as it sounds. The child was stranded at a significant distance from the shore, making it difficult for the villagers to reach him. Despite their valiant attempts, they realized they were not equipped to handle this dangerous situation and called for professional help. When the authorities arrived, they began a painstaking rescue operation. With the concerted effort of both the villagers and the professionals, they were finally able to bring the child to safety. This extraordinary incident left many people referring to the child's survival as a miracle. After all, who could believe that a two-year-old could withstand such powerful forces of nature? Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. One of our subscribers shared an image with us that has left him and his friends wondering and puzzled. They were off on a fishing adventure in the stunning Alaskan waters, capturing pictures while they shared laughs and unforgettable moments. But it was only when they got back home that they noticed something odd in one of the photos. They couldn't believe their eyes at first. It was a man with a dress of water. He seemed to be walking on water too. Unfortunately, they can't go back to investigate because the trip is over. But that's where you come in. Can you help us solve this mystery? What is this man doing there? Is he some supernatural creature, or is he a scientific experiment gone wrong? Number 5. Mosques Survive Great Flood Let us take you back to December 26, 2004, when a monumental natural disaster shook the Indian Ocean, drastically altering the lives of hundreds of thousands of people across 14 countries. The epicenter of this catastrophe was an enormous earthquake, followed by a catastrophic tsunami. More than 230,000 people lost their lives. Their existences swept away in an unforgiving wave of water and chaos. Indonesia suffered the most severe brunt of this calamity, accounting for over 170,000 of the fatalities. The province of Aceh, especially its capital, Banda Aceh, bore the horrifying impact of the tsunami, its landscape drastically transformed as countless buildings and vital infrastructure were obliterated. Amid the rubble, debris, and devastation, certain mosques stood firm, defying the power of the tsunami and becoming a refuge for survivors. Two mosques that command particular attention are the Baituraman Grand Mosque and the Ramatula Lampuk Mosque. Multiple interpretations have been offered to explain the survival of these mosques amidst such devastation. Some architectural experts suggest that these mosques were built more robustly, with stronger foundations than the surrounding structures. Many of these other structures may have been constructed from inferior materials. On the other hand, some religious scholars see the survival of the mosques as a sign of divine intervention, symbolizing God's mercy and protection. For many survivors, their harrowing experience led to a strengthening of their Islamic faith, as they felt a closer connection to God after witnessing His power and grace. Number 4. Saved from a Drowning Car Let's delve into an extraordinary event that unfolded during a flood in Colorado. 
It's about a woman named Charlene Herrera, who found herself trapped in her SUV as the floodwaters rose dangerously around her. The situation was critical, and time was of the essence. In the vicinity was Dr. Rocky Kosla, who noticed Charlene's plight and knew he had to act fast. Braving the floodwaters, he swam towards Charlene's trapped vehicle and attempted to break the SUV's windows using a stick he found floating around. However, despite his gallant efforts, the vehicle's safety glass proved to be too resilient and Charlene remained trapped inside. At this point, another brave individual stepped in. Howard Absets, who was 43 years old. Howard decided to try a different approach. Reaching his hand through the driver's window, which was almost entirely submerged under the floodwaters, Howard was taken aback when he felt Charlene grip his hand. Seizing the moment, he mustered all his strength and pulled Charlene out through the driver's window, getting her safely out of the SUV. Soon after, the paramedics and firefighters arrived on the scene. They assisted both Charlene and her rescuers, ensuring everyone involved was safe and unharmed. The rescue, no doubt, was nothing short of incredible, but the real mystery unraveled when the SUV was finally towed out of the water. What baffled everyone was that all four windows of the car were perfectly intact and closed. This is an anomaly because usually, submerged windows can't be rolled down or broken without specialized tools like a window-breaking hammer. The enormous pressure exerted by the water against the window glass and frame generally renders them nearly unbreakable. Number 3. Angel in the Sky Let's turn our attention to a unique story about a man named Corey Heron, who hails from Camden, South Carolina. Aged 37 and a father of three children, Corey juggles his time between working as a welder and indulging in his part-time passion for photography. He's also a devout Christian who firmly believes that God communicates with us through signs. A remarkable event unfolded on the 11th day of October in the year 2016. On his way back home from work, Corey was taken aback by a solitary cloud formation in the sky. This wasn't just any regular cloud, though. It seemed to bear an uncanny resemblance to an angel, complete with what appeared to be wings and a face, the sight was so mesmerizing that Corey felt compelled to capture it on his phone. With a sense of awe and excitement, he decided to share this fascinating sight with others through Facebook Live. People from far and wide were deeply moved by Corey's experience, with many sharing that they too could see the angelic figure in the cloud. Some were inspired by his unwavering faith, while others shared personal anecdotes about their own encounters with angels or feelings of divine presence. For Corey, the angel-shaped cloud served as a divine sign, a beacon of hope meant to uplift him and others navigating challenging times in their lives. And believe it or not, he remained parked in his car, gazing at the heavenly spectacle until the cloud had completely dissipated, a wait that lasted 45 long minutes. Number 2 double accident saves life. Let's travel back in time to the year 2019 in Phoenix, Arizona. In the center of our story are two vehicles, a 2017 model Jeep Renegade and a 2016 model Chevrolet Cruze. As events played out, the driver of the Jeep Renegade ran a red light, which, under normal circumstances, could have had catastrophic results. Simultaneously, as fate would have it, a family comprising a young child in a stroller was about to cross the road. As they stepped onto the crosswalk, the Jeep, having run the red light, veered perilously close to them. It was a heart-stopping moment that could have had a horrifying outcome, but destiny had a different plan. Enter the Chevrolet Cruze, driven by a 27-year-old woman named Shannon Vivar. Her car, being on the correct side of the green light, advanced into the intersection just in time to collide with the side of the wayward Jeep. This impact, although alarming in its own right, served a much greater purpose. It halted the Jeep's trajectory, effectively preventing a potentially fatal encounter with the family crossing the road. It's also worth mentioning that her three-year-old son and her mother, Shirley Vivar, were both in the car with her during this shocking event. By some miracle, everyone emerged from the accident unscathed. Number 1. Surviving a Double Car Accident Let's roll back the years to the morning of Tuesday, January 21st, 2014. The time was around half past 11, and the stage was set for an unbelievable incident in the city. Our story revolves around two primary figures, Vilma do Nascimento, a lady of 56 years, and her young grandson, Joao Pedro Nascimento, who was just five years old at the time. Their path brought them to a crossroads. Right in front of them, two vehicles were on a dangerous collision course. On the one hand, there was a black Volkswagen Goal, darting from the left at high speed. On the other hand, a silver Fiat Uno was crossing the junction. 
The inevitable happened, a violent collision that spiraled into an uncontrollable sequence of events. The impact sent the Fiat Uno into a spin. Out of control, it smashed into a parked white Chevrolet Corsa. The force was so strong that it propelled the parked Chevrolet onto the pavement. This was the very spot where Vilma and Joao were standing. What happened next was nothing short of a nightmare. The Chevrolet Corsa, caught in the momentum, ran over both Vilma and Joao, not once but twice. Joao was hit on his head and body while Vilma suffered the impact on her legs and back. The horror of this incident was recorded in stark detail by the CCTV cameras installed above the street. In a twist that defies belief, both Vilma and Joao miraculously survived the accident with only minor injuries. Joao, showing resilience way beyond his tender age, was up on his feet almost instantly after the terrifying ordeal. His first concern was his grandmother, lying prone on the floor. Both were promptly rushed to a nearby hospital by paramedics. Joao was discharged the very same day, while Vilma needed an extra day of care before she could return home. Which one of these could you not believe at all? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.